Somewhere, lost in the clouded annals of history, lies a place called the Unknown, where long-forgotten stories are revealed to those who travel through the wood. Here we come upon Beatrice, Wirt, and Gregory, wandering onwards, seeking to find a strange book containing all that has ever been forgotten. <sighs> Searching for the Tome of the Unknown sure requires a lot of walking. We'll be there soon enough. Maybe we could ride on a goose. Probably too small, Greg. I think a horse would probably work better. Or maybe all we need to do is, like... Hey, where'd Greg go? Ah! Greg! Ah! Greg? Ah! Greg! Greg, are you... What's... Ah! What? Why are you screaming? Because look what I found! A bunch of vegetables shaped like a car! We're one step closer to finding a goose! Ah, uh, what? You can crank it, and you can eat it. How in the... Greg, this is amazing! It works? Huh? Yeah. This is amazing. If you like that, you should see the man. What man? The vegetable man! Hmm? And you see I'm lonely, lonely as can be. Huh? For I want you only, there's no one else for me. And you know it, sometimes, dear, I wonder why you keep away. Leaving me so lonely. Lonely night and day. <sighs> oh, that's enough. That's enough now. Now, what are you folks doing out here in the middle of nowhere listening to poor old John Crop singing his sad songs to himself? Actually, we, we were just about to take off in this nice vegetable car. You mean my vegetable car? I... can we have it? Now, hold on. I myself always had a mind to drive this clunker to the big city and leave this lonely old country life behind. Maybe find a gal who liked my company. But that ain't in the cards for me, I suppose. Well, uh, uh we could bring you to the city, and, and if you decide to stay there, then we can keep the car? Well... Yes, I could give it a go. Do they have geese in the big city? I never heard there ain't geese in the big city. To the city! With everyone in agreement, they all climbed into the old vegetables, waved goodbye to the garden cat, and drove off down the road towards town. Don't crash, Wirt. Don't crash it. Shh. John Crops goes to town. So, John Crops, uh, do you have, like, internal organs? Well, I, I don't rightly know, to be honest. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, now, I do believe we should be coming up to town shortly. Already? All I see around here are farms and... Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, oh, my <laughs> Everybody out. I gotta fix it. So this is the big city. I wasn't expecting it to look so much like the opposite of a big city. No, over here. This is a big city. Them fine ladies and gents putting on the put on. Too bad you have to go fix the car. So while Wirt and Beatrice set to work repairing their vehicle. A cucumber? Taste it. Gregory and John Crops took in the sights of the big city. What do you think? I'm thinking it's a mild upscale for the likes of me. Yeah, I don't see any geese. You know, maybe I'd better just go on back home where I belong. 
Oh, beg your pardon, ma'am. You ladies see, and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The management regrets to inform you that tonight's entertainment has come to an end due to unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> that is, unless someone in the audience can play a hot rhythm. That's you, Crops. Go croon a tune under the moon with a raccoon, eating prunes with a spoon, in a balloon with baboons, watching cartoons. Me? Why, sir, you're a musician? Well, shucks. I do play a little. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile? I'm stumped. It's all just vegetables to me. I'll say. You don't even know how to start the engine. I do know how to start the engine. You, you just... Oh. Off they went to find Gregory, without realizing the havoc they were bringing with them. Hmm. That's a lot of clothes. The crows are landing! Punch it in the face! Oh, heck no. Not a single goose in the whole city, Doctor. Greg, get in. We're leaving. <sighs> Where's John Crops? Near the thing with Cabbage Lady. So shine on, shine on, harvest moon. John! John, we're, we're leaving. I ain't had no loving since May. He seems happy enough. Let's just go. No, we can't just... Ah! Yep, okay. <laughs> No! No! Don't eat it! No! Stop! Hey, where'd Greg go? Just jumped out of the car and ran off. Ah! Greg! 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 Ah! Greg! Ah! What? What? Goose! <laughs> and that's just about where our story ends. The crows and animals were terrified, leaving the city never to return. John Crops and his gal moved back to the country, where life was a little more peaceful. See you around, folks. And Wirt, Gregory, and Beatrice, and Goose traveled onwards, deeper and deeper into the unknown. <laughs>